This video provides a comparison of the user experience and bandwidth consumption of Citrix Zen Desktop 4 with HDX and VMware View 4 with PCOIP. These tests are multi-user environments, so you can see the impacts of limited bandwidth on several simultaneous connections. We'll start with Zen Desktop 4. In this series of screen captures, we have five scripted workloads running on the same server and network. What you see is the sixth session that we are manually interacting with. Here we are doing some word processing, and you can see that with HDX technology, cut and paste is responsive, and the page scrolls smoothly. Now we've added a photograph, and you can see that it resizes pretty smoothly, and the image box keeps up with mouse movements. Let's look at web browsing now. Again, HDX ensures that text is clear, images are crisp, and page scrolling is fast and responsive. Here's a look at Flash Video through Hulu.com using the HDX Media Stream for Flash redirection. The video looks seamless, and the experience is just like watching it from any local PC. Users won't be able to tell the difference. Now let's take a look behind the scenes at the bandwidth utilization through the Apposite WAN emulator. You can see peaks and valleys in the bandwidth consumption, which shows how Zen Desktop with HDX is constantly optimizing and conserving the network. If you had some other file transfer or print jobs going on here, there would still be plenty of room to accommodate that activity. Now let's turn to the VMware View tests. Same exact scenario with six simultaneous sessions occurring. In word processing, you can see how there's a cursor redraw error with that black box, and the cutting and pasting is a bit delayed, showing an impact to the interactivity of the environment. Also note how the text looks distorted as we scroll, and then it recovers. This is the impact of the Build the Lossless feature in PCOIP. When the screen is changing and bandwidth is constrained, the user experience degrades, particularly with things like text. Resizing a photograph isn't smooth, and it takes a while for the image to catch up to the mouse. And as before, the scrolling is a bit behind and the text looks blurred. Similar issues occur during web browsing. You can see the text blurring and the delayed scrolling. The effect of build the lossless isn't as bad on images, but since most corporate work is text-based, users may complain about this effect. Lastly, let's look at video. Same movie as before. The experience is quite poor. View does not offer any flash redirection, so rendering must occur on the server. If video is a requirement for training purposes, messages from the CEO, or just end-user adoption, this is something you'll want to consider. Now let's again look at the bandwidth utilization. This is very different behavior from Zen Desktop, where you can see that the entire network capacity is effectively fully utilized constantly, regardless of the content. This is because VMware's PCOIP does not have any ability to cache bitmaps or objects. So even if it's the same content, PCOIP must resend it every time it is displayed. If there were some other traffic on this network, like a print job or a file transfer, the network would even be further constrained and the user experience might be even further degraded. All tests were performed on identical hardware and network conditions. The workload scripts used in this testing were provided by logging consultants. To recap, these tests involved five simultaneous scripted sessions and a sixth interactive session. WAN emulation was provided by Apposite.